Hey guys, Tyler here from Sunfrog Shirts, and in this video I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get set up on Facebook and start promoting using Facebook as your social media, and then kind of cover the differences that sets Facebook apart from some of the other social media platforms out there. So to get started, let's go ahead and just head on over to Facebook. And you'll hear a lot of people talk about fan pages. Um, and the reason they talk about pages is because if you want to monetize anything on Facebook, really the only way to do that is through a page. Now you can post stuff on your personal pages, but you're really not gonna get the kind of reach that you're looking for. So the best solution is just to set up a page. And that can be done. If you look over on your left-hand side here, you'll actually see pages. And you just hit create page to start your very own fan page. Um, it's a very simple step-by-step -step process. Basically, you just select a category depending on whatever it is, whatever niche that you're in, um, and you know the design you want to push. Uh, so you know, just start here, go through the step-by-step. -step. It's real simple. But for the purpose of this video, I actually have a fan page set up. So let's go take a look at what a fan page might look like. Now, I spent some time, you know, setting up a banner, profile picture, that kind of thing. Um, but the most important thing you'll want to keep in mind when you're trying to grow your audience on Facebook is that if you just go product heavy, um, your user is really not going to engage with that content. So the most important thing that you can do is have relevant content that your users will engage with. Uh, as you can see here, mine's not really product heavy. It's all uh, it's all content that may get them to, to read in or go farther and just kind of engage with my page. You see one product here, but then it's right back into more engaging content. So I've actually been building my content for a while, and now I'd like to promote another shirt. So let's take a look and see what that might look like. So I was browsing around and I found this shirt and I think it fits my page very well. So the best thing, or the, the next step we need to take is to actually grab the URL, making sure that your affiliate ID is on the end there. Now, one thing to take in to note is that Facebook doesn't really like to have long links on your page with an affiliate ID at the end of it. So the best way to combat this is actually to shorten your link, and this is why you'll see a lot of people do this. I just like to use Google. It's real simple. You can just go to uh, uh, goo.gl. Uh, this is Google's link shortening service, and just plug that whole URL in here hit shorten URL and it'll uh, generate this for you, which we can then grab this and then go back to our Facebook fan page. Now, uh, general best practices when you're setting up, uh, when you're posting a shirt for other people to see, is you don't really wanna be too sales heavy. Like this is just for engagement, this is for people to see it. Um, and kind of engage with the shirt and talk about it, maybe share it with their friends. Uh, so we just really want to set it up so that it'll do that for us. So we don't want to go heavy into a sales pitch. Instead, you might write something like, um, for this shirt, uh, who are your super girls? That might get uh, you know people thinking um, to uh, you know who some of their friends are that might like this shirt as well. Um, and then I will provide a place where they can actually go to the product page. Uh, get yours here and post that shortened link there. And there, we've shared the shirt. Um, and we can actually just go ahead and publish this. And now anybody coming to my page will be able to see this shirt, um, engage with it, comment on it, and share it. Uh, and, and if it's a good design, it'll get, sh it'll get shared around and hopefully we'll get some sales off of it as well. So thanks a lot guys for watching this video. We covered how uh, to promote a design on Facebook and what makes it different from some of the other platforms out there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.